How my lovely Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus. How you guys doing today? This is Denisha. <laughs> I usually say Nisha, that's my real name. Anyways, guys, I'm back to do you singles reading. And we're gonna get a love message for you guys. So we got karma is on your side. You're gonna be prepared to be astound and change is always good for you guys. That's what popped out really quick. So some of you guys, they want you to know that if you felt like you were wronged in a situation, karma is gonna show off right now for you guys and it's gonna change something in your life. Maybe you guys have to change something. It's gonna be really good for you. But it said if you can read all the minds, I mean read <laughs> Hear all the prayers that I hear and beat all the hearts that I beat. I wonder if you believe. Oh, there we go. The camera just fell over. I wonder if you ever believe how often you're thought about, talked about, even falling in love with. It's payback time. Adios. Be prepared to be a sound. Send them love. Wish them peace. Send them happiness. Everyone, always and forever. And prepare to be a down. And PSO, would you become a big time manifester? If you best manifesting love, you're going to be uh, really profound or you're going to be shocked at what's going to happen. And change is always good for you guys. My camera is jacked up and it fell over. So they said, actually, the only effective way of changing another person is by changing yourself works every time, guarantee, the, uh, though I'm kind of partial to the way you are right now. So someone is happy that you're changing, and you know, but at the same time, they're mad because this person is going through karma. Maybe it's you going through karma, whatever, and someone has good luck on, coming on their life, but they say karma is on your side, but the roles and the energy can be reversed because the change is always good. Maybe you had to change something about what you did when it came to love. Could have been the way you communicated. It could have been miscommunication. It could be a Leo that is missing you. All right. Uh, the creative times you guys had together. Also, I want you, or Aquarius that wants you, okay. <clears throat> this is Libras, right? <laughs> I was almost forgot. It may even be an Aries. So, but them are your love messages. So you may be dealing with a prideful, detached uh, Aquarius or a prideful Leo that don't know how to communicate with you, right, Libra? Because you are the sign of partnership, but they do miss you. Okay, this could be someone that uh, you have kids with, or someone in your friend group with them cards showing up in them type of field. Leo rules creativity, and Aquarius rules your, you know, 11th house of friends. So this could be a friend, or this could be someone you had kids with. So let's see. This person is very creative, but at the same time, they detached. This could be you, too. Have pride, not able to let your feelings out. All right, someone knows they have to change if you guys want something new. Singles, what are you leaving behind? The Nine of Cups, the fact that you either drinking a lot or you had a wish that could have been granted and you let go of that emotional ideal. But you stand right now in generosity. This is the scales, Libras. You guys rule balance and generosity, give and take. Someone could be um, giving back to you, helping you out. Okay, be in a position to help you. Someone could be very prideful with this card coming up. Because it's almost like accepting from a place of not being prideful or giving from a place without expecting anything back. So some of you guys could be in that particular situation where someone is asking you for help. All right, and um, you giving from a place of wanting to give. We have what you're avoiding is the tower as well. A Scorpio, you could be dealing with, I don't even know who I did last, Capricorn. The unexpected is a home matter for once, Aries, okay, car. But it's meaning you're going to get something, some happy news about your home. Maybe you guys are moving. Maybe you guys get to sign that deal. Maybe you guys are re um, renovating your home. Whatever it is, for once is about early rewards coming in. So if you was working hard on something, you took the action to move homes, you're about to get a yes. We have here waiting is your next action. So you may have been waiting for three months to three weeks about this home situation and it's coming in because we had to hear your fun. If it's a relationship or you was waiting on the tourist to make a decision, they're about to tell you about what's going on with a home matter. Maybe you guys are going to move in together. Maybe you guys are going to get married. All right. But uh, if it's your religious values, this is what you want before you go move in with someone to be married or have things together it's showing that. You may have had to close out a cycle, okay, with the world card here with a fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. And then we have here, you holding back, okay? Or you holding on to your money, you're not revealing everything, Libra. 
<laughs> it could be a capital heart holding on to you. look indecisive, impartial to something. And we have here, you happy, but you feel blocked, okay? I feel like you feel like somebody blocking you and trying to create heavy burns on you. But the Ten of Cups is here. It could be a Pisces with the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like you guys have conflicting energy because you also, after something in, you had the uh, opportunity to have happiness, contentment, joy, emotional fulfillment. But you're holding back because you guys not sure if it's going to bring you this, the happiness, peace, and contentment, or the blocks, delays, and burns. So it's ultimately up to you guys to balance off the scales or something but i feel like some of you guys don't want to argue and uh, start a fight but it definitely need to be discussed on what's going to happen when it comes to this relationship because in order for you or this person to work it out libras it look like you guys don't have to compromise that's what i'm saying compromise all right let's get you guys some advice card yeah, we have fears, okay, and unhealthy obsessions here. With the projection, if someone was take took something, or you guys was trying to find some, I see something being returned to you. Singles out there. All right, we have here, black cat. Good luck. So, you guys are gonna begin something good, okay? So you may be focusing on somebody obsessive, but they telling you to. The support is that whatever you touch is going to turn into gold. Whatever you do, you're going to land on your feet, okay? Your actions is the message, okay? So the universe is sending you direct downloads and messages to what to do next, Libra. We have here confirmation that things are going to work out better than you hoped, okay? Your fears are getting the best of you. Let it go. Make a decision. All right. You are a star, and people love the message you give them also of what I'm saying. And we have the guidance card. That one is over. And it's, you might be a teacher of esoteric or, you know, hidden things or hidden knowledge. All right. People may be trying to steal your ideal. But the guidance is saying you are a guidance to people. And it's okay to take a new beginning or start something new. But confirmation with Black Cat is really good. But I feel like you guys are f fearful of your own destiny. I think some of you guys just afraid to make a decision. But it does look like everything is going to turn out okay for you a lot of you guys if you can let go of that unhealthy obsession it's the way you're going about it could be wrong but you're going to get what you want if you can change your mind all right guys i hope that resonates with you guys let me know how that how you feel about it please drop a like share and comment like the video book a private reading with me if you like so keep love enjoying your heart bye bye